Caveman in the Kitchen with Jane. Hey folks, welcome back to Caveman in the Kitchen. Today we're going to be making roasted beef marrow bones. So we only need a few ingredients this time. We'll start with the star of the show, the marrow bones. You can find these in most grocery stores. Typically they'll come in long pieces, but if you ask the butcher nicely, they'll cut them up for you. Uh, then we just need our seasoning staples, salt and pepper. We're going to throw in a little bit of olive oil. And we're also going to roll or roast some garlic with it as well. Alright guys, so I have my oven preheating for 450 degrees. Next, I have all my ingredients prepped and ready to go. So I'm just going to stick them in my pan here, one by one. Put in my garlic. Spread it around. Alright, now next, I'm going to pour some olive oil over the marrow bones and over the garlic, that way the salt and pepper sticks a little better. Get it all on there. Now I'll add my seasoning. And some pepper. Great for flavor. Now I'm going to stick it in the oven for 30 minutes. Before I do that, let's talk about something. Some of you may be wondering, James, why am I eating marrow bones? Well, marrow bones are full of gelatin and glycine, which are proteins that have great healing properties. Good stuff to eat when you're starting to get sick, and guess what? It's that time of the year. You're not wearing your jackets, you're coming out sweaty, it's cold, and then, you have a, you, then now you're sick. So, eat some marrow bones, it'll help counteract that a bit. And these look like they're about done. Scoop one out here. Thank you guys for tuning in for yet again another episode of Caveman the Kitchen. And remember, you can expect great things when you eat great things. Let's try this out so you know I'm not lying. <laughs>